So I woke up, I ate some breakfast, took a shower, and then I sat down from my computer wanting to watch some drama alert. And to my surprise, obviously, their fucking channels weren't there. You know, drama alert's channel is not there. What got me so kind of like, what the fuck just happened is because just last, you know, just a couple days ago, because I usually just like to do this routine where I watch them in the morning so I don't know everything and I can have a good laugh in the morning and then go off to school or whatever. But when I woke up, I was like, holy shit, they're not here. And I was just laughing like, why is there no drama alert right now? It was just hilarious to me. And then I started looking up on YouTube. Turns out drama alert has got taken down by Spam404. And I got to say, what the fuck? Uh, out of all the YouTubers, they could have took it down. They took down Drama Alert, but they did have kind of a very interesting way of doing it. Now, in the YouTube code, code of conduct, there is a thing where it's saying, if you have one channel that has been terminated, you cannot make any more channels. Now, when I was thinking about this, I'm thinking, I haven't had any channels taken down, so obviously I'm safe, but Spam, no, not Spam 404, but Drama Alert or DJ Chemstar to be a Pacific actually has had like several hundreds of channels taken down due to copyright strikes due to like just straight bullshit and what interests me about this is the fact that they decided to single him out he was sort of like making his skills more useful you know a lot of people really didn't like him at one point um besides dumbasses but and now I, i'm actually a huge fan of um dj chemstar because of what he's doing with drama alert but obviously that's dead now because yeah you guys can kind of see where that's going his channel's nowhere to be found. It's just gone. But what I want to say is, I was very surprised the fact that uh, Spam404 would take him down of all people. Uh, more, more or less, um, he was making them famous because I never heard of him until then. Uh, please don't uh, take down my channel, please, Spam404. Uh, I never heard of them until then. And now that I know that they're able to do this stuff and they found like these loopholes, it's pretty interesting. Now there is another YouTuber named by the by the name of GoGov, who actually got his channel taken down. Now, of course, the same rules apply to him because he is human, of course, and he is, you know, a civilian uh, in the YouTube world. <laughs> and when I was looking at this, I was like, damn, that is some crazy shit. Like, how easy it is to find a simple loophole to get somebody's channel taken down. And that kind of made me laugh. Now, I'm not sure who Spam404 is, but they do have a Twitter, so you guys can follow them. Uh... Overall, I gotta say, I was very, like, scratching my head, like, for the past hour now, thinking, why would they go after these YouTubers when there's other YouTubers who have been abusing the system and shit and who have been gouging their subs for years and people just do not like them because they're despicable people in real life? Why would they go after these people? You know, of course, DJ Kempstar has a shady past on YouTube, but... Overall, he's trying to reform himself. He's trying to become a better person through Drama Alert. It's kind of fucked up that they would actually take down his channel. But, of course, he's going to come back, uh, most likely. And probably the same routine is going to happen every, like, six months. Who the fuck is this? Um, every six months, he's probably going <laughs> to lose his channel. And then he's going to return back and forth. And it's probably going to be an on-off process for quite some time. But, right now, I have to say that... If you have a channel that's been taken out or whatever it may be, just keep that shit to yourself because it seems there are a ton of loopholes in YouTube. I'm most likely Gold Glove. Um, I didn't talk about him enough yet, but most likely a lot of these YouTubers are going to get their channels back. I'm not sure about DJ Kempstar. I don't think YouTube, him and YouTube are on the same area. I'm not sure if he's still accepting partners because his channel got taken out because it was kind of like the hub and everything. Uh, who else is there? Yeah, and of course, um, Gold Glove, I wanted to talk about him. Gold Glove, now, he has over 600,000 subscribers. I'm not sure how many views he has, but obviously it's going to be up in the, you know, near billions area. And I was thinking to myself, wow, this dude really just screwed the pooch. You know, he did have a, um, re a previous channel. If you guys don't know, uh, I used to watch him back in 2011 when Gears of War was high. Like, Gears of War 3 was really, really big and really high, but now it's died down. It's near not you know existent in the community anymore when people i think do is like like brothers and shit but off subject back onto like um gold gloves he's a much bigger youtuber than um drama alert so technically i'm not sure if they're going to take his channel down um bring it back or whatever because 
at the same time, YouTube, YouTube does love to pay, like, uh, fuck, I'm lost for words right now, does like to um, play favorites. And with this, you know, happening, it's Band 404 just, you know, doing a legit way of taking out these channels. I'm asking, will YouTube kind of change some of these rules to kind of protect these people? Or more or less and say it's protecting all of us when it's really protecting just, you know, these specific YouTubers. Like, if PewDiePie was to disappear tomorrow, the internet will go up in flames. More or less the bros of the um, community will go up in flames and everything. So I'm wondering if YouTube's going to change up the policy. They possibly can. It's not that hard, really. It's all you got to do is change a few things here and there. And it probably will be like, if you got an account terminated five times in a row or five like different different things that have been inappropriate or something then you can you can't make an account or probably you know it's just all these different stupid things but as i said youtube is going to most likely pay favorites with this um gold glove character uh chemstar i'm sorry but what's your history with youtube i highly doubt they're going to even give a too flying fuck. You're probably just about to make another account, which he's obviously probably already did. He's probably getting that shit set up already. I love his Wings of Redemption videos. He was just making fun of that dude all around. It was just so fucking funny. But that's about it for me, guys. Please rate and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully, I don't get taken out my spam 404. Uh, I don't got nothing against them. They kind of doing what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to help the youth community, and they're making them a much better place in terms of um, keeping some people out and keeping you know good people in. But they really need to start attacking people who really actually be doing bad shit like Fuzzy 2. That nigga is fake. Just gonna put it like that. That nigga is fake. But that's about it for me, guys. Please rate and subscribe. As always, stay tuned for more and peace.